This video is a response to a question posed from Windwings. They asked for an engine that shut off under certain conditions using a funky tree's expression. In the discussion, Guy Folk and I posted expressions that met Windwings conditions. And while our expressions both perform the same task, they have different effects. So I've set up two demonstration engines on this plane to give a visualization of what is happening. Now that we're in the air, I'll throttle up to 100% and turn on the demonstration engines. The left engine uses Guyfall's expression, and the right engine uses mine. At 100% throttle, both engines perform the same and output 15 kN of thrust. As I throttle down, however, towards 25% throttle, something interesting happens. The engine on the left approaches zero thrust as it gets closer to 25% throttle but the engine on the right remains proportional and approaches 25% thrust. And both engines still shut down if I go below 25% throttle. The reason why the engine on the left reads 0 at 25% throttle has to do with the linear interpolation in Geifel's expression. What this essentially means is that we should take this line and push it somewhere else! It takes the entire throttle range and squishes it in between the 25% mark and the 100% mark. Now, Geifel's expression used inverse linear interpolation. This is the reason the engine starts producing thrust at 25% throttle. If they use the regular linear interpolation expression, then the engine would remain at 25% power at zero throttle input. So now that you know how these expressions behave, here are some ideas for how you can use them. For something like Winwing's question where they wanted an engine that shuts off at a certain speed and throttle, I think that using a proportional expression would be the way to go. In real life, some engines require sufficient airflow before they can produce thrust, as well as having a minimum throttle to avoid flame out. I think that this type would better mimic that. One way the inverse slip expression could be used is for an afterburner or supplementary engine. This enables any user to adjust the power setting in which the engine turns on. This can also separate certain engines from the main throttle, which can allow for better engine management. One way to use the normal lerp expression could be to use it as an exhaust. It can either constantly produce a small amount of thrust, or only a smoke trail for aesthetics. To be completely honest, this is the first time I've gone in depth with funky trees. Linear interpolation is also a new concept to me, so I'm not quite sure in all the ways it can be used. Either way, if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them below. I plan on making more funky trees content in the future, so feedback is much appreciated. Either way, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.